Hi everyone, you're listening to the podcast series of the Heather Rifat Show, and I'm your host, Heather Rifat. In today's episode, I've invited another versatile actor, Amar Khan. She's relatively a new kid on the block, and we will now see her on the big screen in the forthcoming film, Dam Mastam, opposite Imran Ashraf. Amar, it is great having you on board. Assalamu alaikum. First of all, thank you so much, Heather, for uh, inviting me on your show. I think it's always a pleasure and uh, very, very constructive to uh, conduct such sessions with you. So, yeah, here I am. I'm glad. I'm glad that you are. Okay, Amr, let's get started. Now, you belong to the entertainment industry. So what sets you apart from others? Okay, so what sets me apart from others? I think, Heather, that would be... uh the constant um i think uh, my ability to surprise to be um unpredictable with my choice of roles um i mean you know starting from like i did googie which was my first drama serial where i'm playing an abducted hindu girl who's forcefully converted um to a muslim and it's a, a a very important piece from literature amrita pritham's um novel and you know even before that when i started off with my first um telly film which was chashme nam where i was playing a blind girl and you know then soon after gugi playing a character like dian so i thought uh, all these characters were poles apart and um at times you get typecasted at times you get um uh you know similar kind of o- offers but for me um i think the the drive and the right search was to um get roles and be a part of projects which are very distinct from each other um also there's one more thing which was very funny people thought maybe um dian and this off late i've done this drama called dile gum shuda where i i was playing this very uptown um spoiled brat a, a grammarian girl um who has it all but even then she's very materialistic and all so people thought maybe uh you know i have perform two characters which are basically the antagonists though i don't feel like that i thought um, both the characters were very different i don't understand how can horror be negative i mean it could be thrilling it could be scary and that's an altogether a very different emotion and you cannot uh, put that under you know a, a tag of negative so dime was not a negative character at all um and also i think then the approach you never go for you never opt for positive roles or negative roles duniya ke aap kisi bhi actor ko baat karte hue dekh le to i don't think anybody would use this incorrect language and these subservient terms of negative or positive hamare yahan pe unfortunately roles ki pehchan hi is tarah se hoti hai to i think that whole thought process may be it was setting me apart from others where um, my approach in opting for such characters was very very exciting i see what draws you to acting the most that's a very important question in fact what draws me to acting um i think actually it's quite a, it's quite a tricky question as well because um I thought I I was always acting ever since vision if I could trace back uh I always um gathered myself in front of a mirror talking to myself and you know uh, impersonating my favorite actors and um you know just just being in my own bubble creating those those imaginary shells where i had unlimited stories to share so i thought i was always acting i don't remember any particular point where which which um drew me to acting or you know which which made me realize that um 
there is a profession and there is a thing like acting you know as as uh, the, that quotation goes like that uh, the, you know uh, what was it the shakespeare said that you know we are in a world stage where where every actor is is playing their part i'm sorry i'm i'm, I'm very bad at recalling it right now but there was you know some quotation like that if you remember um i think it's it's, it's exactly the same um maybe uh my first action or acting call was given to me right in my mother's womb because she has been working from quite some time in the industry and she has been performing a lot of off late a lot of um, mother roles so um i think my action call was given to me right in her womb when she would have been performing some character uh but you know when i later on when i approached it as an actor like when i went into a proper film school and i had my education in filmmaking and uh, during that tenure of uh, four years of filmmaking i attempted um, a lot of theater also as an actor and i've learned uh, screenwriting as well and filmmaking craft i think it's during those days that i started um, enjoying it much more uh, than i would probably have had in a, in you know a room where i was you know uh, confined um when you performing when you're exploring when as an as as an ardent a uh, cinema viewer you're also watching stories and uh, you're uh, watching different performances i think uh, maybe um i think it triggers something it the the magic is created there uh so yeah maybe that um getting myself immersed and completely involved into the process of acting came there when i was attending my film school otherwise i think i was always acting so i don't remember any one particular moment when i was um you know drawn uh there was no one particular moment or or film or character or time uh i think it just came to me like life happened to me perhaps hmm now you're relatively new to this industry like i mentioned earlier in your introduction so what is necessary for an incoming actor to know before making his or her way into the show business Okay so one very important thing Heather which uh, I feel um, any incoming actor needs to know before making his or her way into the industry I think that should be um these days there is this um, phenomena where uh, aspiring actors they feel acting has a direct correlation with fame uh so you know normally when you have a passion for acting you want to uh explore more uh, about the craft about how it's done about how to refine your skills about how to become better or you know present the best version of yourself you don't care about the outcomes really i think abhi sab opposite chal raha hai abhi pehla thought ye hai ki uh, yaar actors ko to bahut fame milta hai aur bahut paisa milta hai तो पहले उसके बारे में प्लानिंग स्टार्ट हो जाती है फॉर इंस्टेंस आई थिंक इट्स वेरी वेग एंड आई थिंक इट्स वेरी लेम इफ अ न्यू बडिंग एक्टर इज थिंकिंग अबाउट हिज अ हर इंस्टाग्राम फॉलोअर्स इफ देर कैलकुलेटिंग देर काउंट काउंट इज नथिंग इट्स एब्सोल्यूट बुलशिट पार्ट माई फ्रेंच बट दैट्स अ फैक्ट यू बिकम एक्टर बिकॉज यू वॉन्ट टू परफॉर्म um you you can evoke certain sentiments uh, through playing a character you can touch lives you can bring a change you can um yourself as an actor enjoy that journey and evolve it's not for the sake of the outcome so you know uh, not thinking about these things and uh, right in the initial stages of your career thinking ke bhai aaj to mera aaj se target hai ke mujhe apne instagram pe एक मिलियन फॉलोअर्स चाहिए तो वो एक मिलियन फॉलोअर्स तो आप पैसे दे के भी खरीद लोगे लेकिन इज दैट यू नो ब्रिंगिंग एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ अ चेंज और न्यूनेस और डेक्सटेरिटी टू योर क्राफ्ट 
I think I doubt that. So acting has no correlation with fame. When you come in, come for acting and not for the counts and the payments and the popularity and the glamorous side of it. I think that's very wrong. Um, also, uh, when I came into this industry, I had no plan B. This might sound really, uh, I think, odd and strange because you're always advised that you should be having a plan B. But I think if you come and you come and play, then you can play in a way and live in a way and live in a way. Uh, usko nibhani ki koshish kare phir options ke saath nahi aaye kyunki ye um, ek koi 9 to 5 job nahi hai ki ek jagah pe kaam nahi chala to koi dusri jagah pe jo hai application deke apne aap ko adjust karne ki koshish karenge i mean come full throttle and with all the conviction only then um, you can excel hmm rightly said now amar what are your thoughts on nepotism in the industry today uh, I think this is like the most favorite question of almost every other uh, journalist uh, when they want to ask you about nepotism. I think you do have an edge, like you do get your first break very easily. The industry people, just because they know your parents, they know you as well. But I don't think anybody would waste their money on a poor performance or an incapable actor. I don't think anybody would like to do that. Uh, after that first opportunity, it's constantly your own uh, abilities as an actor that you prove your mettle with. Uh, so I don't think nepotism works always. Second, I think the most important uh, theme which is maybe uh, linked with uh, nepotism, maybe it's not linked with nepotism, but I think... Um, it has a major amount of importance and unfortunately I've never seen people asking that question would be uh, a reference at times just because of a good reference you grab a great opportunity just because of a great tagdi reference jisko kuch log shayad parchi bhi kehte hain you land a, a, a very meaty uh, opportunity um, that is more dangerous than nepotism. Because um, uh, ki reference is very strong and because of that, you have to have a good character in a good signature project. That is the most difficult thing. And this is a lot of fun. We have to see that you know, actors are miscasted. Um, at times, you think that the same character. It could have been performed way, way better, but just because uh, masala na is mein laga dhu, to mujhe apna band rakhna But I, what I'm trying to say is nepotism se bhi zyada, jo dangerous cheese hai, jo kisi ka hak marne ki, jo aap nepotism is liye discuss karte hai na, ki wo nai logon ko chance nahi milta. Ya the new raw talent is deprived from a great opportunity. But I think this is more dangerous. So, uh, next time you uh, questioning any celebrity, you must ask them ki ye references kitna logon ko aage leke jati hain. Ab to lazmi poochna padega. Achha, uh, Amar moving on. Aap mujhe ye bataayin, is pandemic ne obviously har kisi ko differently affect kiya hai. So, how has it changed your view on life? I think uh, the pandemic has um, contributed a lot in bringing some really major changes in my life in the past three months. Um, so Heather, I'm somebody who is very competitive, who is a go-getter, who is um, always thinking forward, uh, always trying to explore new avenues and always planning. But I think in these past three months, everything has come to a standstill. I was watching this film, uh, The Southern Night. I'm sure you've seen that uh, Parasite, this Korean film. If, if you haven't, you must. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful film I've watched off late. So at one point, there comes a very uh, beautiful scene where the protagonist, he uh, he's a father, and he tells his son when they've lost it all that, you know, maybe 
it's better for a human being not to plan at times um we are planning a lot of things and when uh, the plan is not uh, going as per our wishes and it's not successful it is that moment it is that inability uh, to you know uh, bring everything um as per your wish which hurts you the most i think ye itni important line hai that you know one needs to stop planning at times and you should just go with the flow you should just believe in your destiny yes you should work hard um yes you should uh, be competitive but at times wo bahut dur ki sochna bhi bahut uh, nuksan de ho sakta hai i think this is that one learning which um uh will stay with us for a long 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 time i'm sure you have learned that as well um one other major change i think it's a very funny change but i'd like to share it i have uh, started hating these science fiction superhero films i have started hating those alien invasions and a superman and a batman you know bombarding with their best magician skills and you know saving the world because nobody saved us you know i was watching this trailer of uh, tenet uh, christopher nolan's latest film and i just called my friend who sent me the link of that trailer and i said i hated it and um, that friend asked why i said because nobody rescued us when we needed these superheroes the most so you know in this pandemic in this corona situation one thing that i have figured out in my life in the past three months is that i just totally believe in love i just totally believe in friendship and family in you know faith in belief system in god because these are the things which are going to save us so i think there is this other change um both in my personality and Uh, from a film buff to cinephiles perspective that i've started hating all those films and now i want to watch more of those uh, timeless uh, uh, romance dramas and those 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 romantic comedy blockbusters than these um, science fiction films but you know i really hope um, uh, that we get out of it soon in fact soonest now every morning i'm getting up and you know um, even when i have my one eye closed i'm i'm just praying and you know dreaming that uh, maybe a good news is going to pop up and that's going to you know bring a smile to my face unfortunately that's not happening but uh, let's pray we all get out of it soon i hope so too now to conclude tell the listeners more about your upcoming debut feature film opposite imran ashraf titled the mustam who do you play and what's the progress you guys have made so far Yes so um Heather I'm very excited about my debut film um ab to ye debut word bhi jab sunne ko milta hai to you feel a, a different chill and thrill in your body <laughs> because you're really waiting for that day when you're going to watch yourself on the on the big screen the silver screen i mean that's the ultimate dream of any i think uh, fanatic cinema lover uh एक बहुत बड़ा क्राइसिस भी रहा है कि ऑलमोस्ट व्हेन वी वर डन विद द फिल्म दिस कोरोना दिस कोविड नाइनटीन थिंग हैपेंड एंड फॉर ऑलमोस्ट अ मंथ आई वाज एक्चुअली वेरी सैड एंड आई वाज वेरी वेरी डिप्रेस्ड बट देन यू नो देर इज अ सेइंग कि जो भी होता है अच्छे के लिए होता है एंड आई थिंक गॉड हैज इन्वेस्ट द बेस्ट प्लान फॉर यू एंड यू शू जस्ट ट्रस्ट हिम एंड take life as it comes so the mustam we are done shooting we are left with almost like 2 3 days and that is also like one scene and some patch work otherwise we are done shooting the mustam it's in its um, editing stage uh, we have i think even our first cut ready and uh, now soon after eid you know it's it's going to go under the scissor for for you know more finish and you know more um you know getting the most crisp and best cut and uh, yes now waiting for uh, the situation to get better uh, unfortunately we have very few cinemas um, i mean the cinema count is like 180 screens in pakistan 
and just imagine now this corona has happened and i'm sure the the exhibitors and the government and the distributors and the fraternity heads they're going to sit down and they're going to uh, revive um the cinema again and they're going to come with some new strategies with new sops so that you know this industry is is not stopping or you know it's not suffering and it also um you know flourishes and progresses like any other um industry uh critical times for cinema honestly but uh, let's hope for the best uh, we are very excited for dam mastam i cannot reveal much about the story and the character because i think it's too soon to comment on it but um uh, inshallah maybe in our next uh, interview when uh, we have a session exclusively on the mastam i'll give you some other details as well but a very satisfying project a uh, fulfillment of a, a a very ambitious dream and let's hope that uh, good times uh, they show up and um, we present our the mastam to you guys as well that session is due then thank you so much amar it's great talking to you and all the best for your upcoming film Thank you thank you thank you so much Heather it's a pleasure talking to you always and um be safe be indoor and make the most out of this uh, quarantine time uh and i hope we all get out of it really 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 soon inshallah pleasure that is all for now listeners but stay tuned for more on my official youtube channel and facebook page until then take care allah hafiz